A wise man named Mr. Rogers once said, love isn't a state of perfect caring. It is an active noun, like struggle. To love someone is to strive to accept that person exactly the way he or she is, right here and right now. And I think that's an important point when it comes to individuals joining forces. Some of your strength will come from remembering that loving someone means living in a state of gentle acceptance of the person that they truly are. Love is both something you can't hold in your hand, yet also a hand you can hold. At its most real, a hundred sentences can't describe love, yet it can be defined in one word. For Alicia, that word is Luke, and for Luke, that word is Alicia. Their love began as a small seedling placed gently into the ground. It grew strong roots as it was tended to with dedication over the past eight and a half years, and it is now fully in bloom. That isn't to say there weren't times when pruning was needed, or a little wilting may have occurred, but that's the wonderful thing about great love. It grows even when conditions aren't perfect. Good morning, my sweetest bride. Here we are. Today is the day we've been planning on together our whole lives. The day is already beautiful and such a perfect moment in time for us. All our friends and family are here surrounding us in love and support. I can't believe how much our love and friendship has grown over the past eight years. All that time tested our relationship and has made us so strong. I feel so ready to marry you and have you by my side forever. I can't wait to see you later and put our rings on and celebrate the past, present, and our new future. I love you, your group. Fortunately, she's found this wonderful man to spend the rest of her life with. And I recall one day specifically when Alicia called me and I said to her, and you know, after I met Luke, it didn't take me really long to know that he was someone that I know I could be happy with to be part of my daughter's life. And I remember specifically a day after they'd been dating a while, and Alicia called me and I said, how are things going? And she goes, I am so happy. Luke treats me so well. And those are words that, as a father, makes you feel so good. So thank you, Luke, for that. Luke, you knew Alicia way before I did. But even so, I feel so lucky that my best friend found a guy like you. You would do anything to see her smile. You two are two peas in a pod. You work together and are partners we can all learn from. You complement each other in the most perfect way. You're each other's strongest allies and the love you have for one another is truly amazing. Alicia and Luke, it's been an unforgettable day that celebrates that you two fell in love eight years ago. You both put a lot of work into this day, from the arbor to all the cursive glass signs. But more impressive than all of that is the work you've put in to making this relationship a reality. If I can speak on, be on behalf of everyone in this room, we love you, we support you, we celebrate you, and we are lucky to have each of you in our lives. Cheers. I hear you. I hear you. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> you look amazing. You <laughs> Like my tassels? Yeah, I know. <laughs> mm. There's a quote that says, I didn't fall in love with you. I walked into love with you, with my eyes wide open, choosing to take each step along the way. And I'd choose you in a hundred lifetimes, in a hundred worlds, in any version of reality. I'd find you and I'd choose you.
My beautiful bride, you look absolutely amazing today. I feel those same butterflies as I did back when I first saw you those years back on campus. I think it was the stars that only knew then what kind of spark was created when we first met eyes and said hello. It was an instant connection I had never felt with with anyone before, and a connection I knew my heart could not let go of. Luke, I promise to wake up each day committed to us and to love you even when it's hard. I promise to always see this life with you as an adventure I want to take. I promise to never stop making you laugh, or at least making you laugh at me, and to always try to decipher your made-up language. <laughs> I promise to continue to dance with you in the kitchen and to ask for a thousand more kisses and dips. time we held hands, the first time we went to Disney World and ran around like little kids, the first time walking the beach and watching the sunset, the first tears of happiness, the first tears of sadness, but most importantly, the time we both said, I love you. Without further ado, and following the declarations of love and commitment made by these two people, I now, by the power vested in me in the state of Wisconsin, pronounce and declare Luke and Alicia to be husband and wife. In starting this new chapter in your long, long lives together, please share your first kiss as a married couple. I want you. 